We're going to start with um, a warm up for mummy. For most of this practice, baby will be lying down or the older ones can be sitting in front of mummy. The younger babies, you'll probably find that they won't want to lie on their back for so long. So you can just pick them up and give them a cuddle for as long as they need to be reassured. And then if they're happy to, put them down and carry on with the practice. Let's just start by bringing our hands to our baby, whether they're lying or sitting. And what you'll probably feel if you put your hands on baby's tummy is that baby's tummy moves when they breathe. And this is a lovely lesson we can learn from baby, is to learn to breathe using our tummies. It's a really lovely, relaxed breath and the way that we're born breathing. So then what I'd like mummy to do is to bring her hands onto her tummy. And what I'd like you to feel is that as you inhale, your belly fills. And then as you exhale, your belly softens. As you inhale, you breathe into your hands. And as you exhale, your belly softens away from your hands. And then we'll add an OM sound to it. So chanting OM with the exhale as the belly softens. Let's take an inhale, feel the belly fill. And exhale. Let's take four more like that. You can rest your hands on your thighs, keep them on your belly, or you can hold baby or just touch baby. Let's take another inhale. adding a pelvic floor lift into that. So this time you'll inhale, you'll feel the belly fill. As you exhale, the belly softens and then you'll draw up through the pelvic floor. So drawing up with the exhale, inhale, belly fills. Exhale, belly softens, drawing up through the pelvic floor. Again, let's add the om noise in. Let's do five like that. Oh. Take a moment just to relax the pelvis, and relax the breath. This lift of the pelvic floor with the exhale is called a healing breath and it's the single best practice you can do postnatally. And the great thing about it is you can do it sitting like this, but you can also do it lying down, you can do it feeding, you can do it walking. So there's no excuses for this practice. This time let's bring the hands to the heart. And then let's inhale and sweep the arms up and exhale them back down the heart to the heart with an arm. Om. Twice more, stretching it out through the fingers. and then bringing hands to baby and letting baby absorb all that lovely healing energy. And then when you're ready, please come to all fours over your baby. If you are sitting on any blocks, you can just take those out of the way. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips and spread your fingers brightly. 
Let's warm the spine up as you inhale, dipping the back, looking towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, you can round the back, tuck your buttocks under and lift through the pelvic floor as you do that. Again, inhaling up. And then exhaling, rounding, drawing through the pelvic floor as you round the back. Let's do that three more times and let's add the om noise in. Inhaling up and exhaling. Om. 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 That's great. Just relax for a moment. If you're still bleeding or you need more of a gentle practice, you can stay with that today. If you are happy to do downward facing dog, with the next one, we'll inhale it up and then tucking the buttocks, lifting through the pelvic floor, we'll push it back to downward facing dog. Lifting through the pelvic floor. You can bend your knees a little if your hamstrings are tight and then exhaling it back down. Inhale it up and then exhaling back again with an arm. Om. Let's do that three more times, sticking with the first version if you need to. Om. On this last one, let's take it back. Om. And staying there just for a few more breaths, you can let your baby play with your hair. You can look at your baby and give them a smile and let them know you're doing downward facing dog. And then exhale, coming back down. This time, let's round the back, push it towards the ceiling and then come and sit down towards the heels. And this time with a flat back, we'll come all the way up, kissing all the way up, baby. Mm. Again, rounding the back, coming to sit down on the heels and then kissing all the way up, really nuzzling in. Mm. Let's do that a few more times, rounding the back, coming to sit down on the heels. If baby's ticklish, you can go a little bit underneath the armpit and give baby a little tickle or in the neck. Again, rounding, coming to sit down on the heels and then coming all the way up. Mm. Let's do that one more time. Rounding, coming to sit down and coming all the way up. Mm. <laughs> and then we'll move into some forward bends. For younger babies, you may prefer to stay kneeling and just tuck your toes under so your baby can see you. When your baby gets older, you may find that you're able to come all the way up to standing. Please come up and stand feet shoulder width apart and parallel. And bring your hands to your heart again. Just as we did earlier in the class. Inhale, sweeping the arms all the way up. And this time as we chant on, we'll come all the way down into a forward bend. Om. Connecting in with baby, stretching it out through the back of the legs and then rolling all the way up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. And then again, inhale, sweeping the arms up and exhaling it down. Om. Rolling up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back, sweeping the arms up, bringing it back down again. Om. Connecting in with baby and then when you're ready, rolling all the way back up again. Inhaling the arms up. Om. Let's 
do that one more time. Rolling all the way up and then taking the arms up. Om. And then this time coming back to all fours. And for those of you that were kneeling, we'll join you there. So coming onto the knees, tucking the toes under if you can. And we'll make this next twist a little bit more interactive. So we can start with some claps. So giving yourself a round of applause for all the feeding and the sleepless nights that you're doing at the moment. Well done, all mummies. And then we'll make it a little quieter and we'll bring it to some clicks. Taking a breath in. And as you breathe out, taking your right arm up and over to the back of your mat and taking it into a twist. Bringing it all the way back to center. And then coming back to some claps. And then to the clicks. This time inhaling the left arm all the way up and over, taking it into a lovely twist. Bringing it all the way back. And let's come back to some claps. It's great. And then to some clicks. Inhaling the right arm all the way up and over. And coming back to center for some more claps. <laughs> and then to some clicks. Taking the left arm all the way up and over behind you. And coming back to some claps. Let's do that once more on each side. So last time coming to the clicks. Taking the right arm up and over. Bringing it all the way back to some claps. And then some clicks. Taking the left arm up and over. And then all the way back. We'll finish with another round of applause for all mummies and daddies who are all, all their hard work with their little babies. Well done to you all. And then we'll come and sit down for a moment. If you need to pick your baby up for a little cuddle now, please do. We're just going to finish this segment with a little bit of tummy time for mummy and baby. So only do this if your baby's in the mood for tummy time. Tummy time for your baby is really brilliant. It will help them establish a more relaxed breathing pattern and it will strengthen the back and the neck ready for sitting, standing and walking. The best way to do tummy time for both of you, I would suggest, is to have your baby lying in front of you on your mat so that they can see you. So the older babies will be fine just to come down here and mummy can rest here. Your baby will have much better head control than mine and you can say hello to each other. The, ma the older babies who have good head control, mummy can enjoy a really lovely back bend here. The younger babies who are still learning to lift the head, what I would suggest is getting your blanket rolling it up and popping baby over the blanket and that will help them give a little bit of an extra lift and you can also try stroking your hand down the back and just encourage them to lift their head. We've got two, well we've got an expert here and Reef, we all know he can do it if he wants and just enjoying a little bit of tummy time for mummy and baby. Quite often at the beginning, you'll literally be starting with 10 to 20 seconds and that's all we're expecting from the little ones. So you can stay there for a little bit longer if you want. And then when you're ready, we'll just finish this warm up by mummy taking a little child's pose. So coming back to all fours, knees apart, big toes together and mummy can just rest down and have a little look at baby. Next, we'll look at some yoga moves for baby. My suggestion is to sit kneeling um, 
wherever possible and try and sit on some support. I've got two blocks here. Kneeling is often a better position postnatally for mums than cross legs because it puts less strain on the hips. We'll start with a closed massage. If you know you're not ready to uh, engage your abdominals yet, then stay kneeling for this. If you'd like to engage your abdominals a little bit and begin to tone them, then I would like you just to roll to the side, take away one of your blocks and sit with one block long ways round and then release your legs so that they're in a wide dandasana. Extend through the mound of the big toes. So you're getting a nice stretch on the back of the legs. And then I'd like you just to lean forwards and then come all the way back until you feel your abdominals engage and then come forwards again. And this time we'll stroke all the way down, baby. And we'll begin to sing. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes again. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes last time. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. That's great. Please come back to that first position and we'll do the rest of the baby yoga back in the kneeling position. Please take some support, some blocks or a cushion. And we'll move straight into some stretches for the babies. Both of the babies here today are a little bit older. And as babies get older, they sometimes get less interested in doing this baby yoga. So we'll see how we go with these mums and babies and just give it a go at home and see how your baby responds. I'd like you to start by bringing your hands to baby's ankles, thumb to the inside of the shin so it's not pressing down on the bone. And we'll just start to take one knee to the chest at a time. All these movements are really good for building strength in the legs and relieving wind, constipation and colic symptoms. So your baby will look as though that they're marching. So we'll begin to sing. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again, knees together. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down again. The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Last time, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again, knees together. And when you were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Let's take both knees into the chest and then take the knees in a small circle so their sacrum, the lower part of baby's back, is getting a little massage on the ground. And we'll begin to sing. Hey dum diddly dum Hey dum diddly dum Hey dum diddly Hey dum diddly 
Hey dum diddly dum, and the other way. Hey dum diddly do. Hey dum diddly do. Hey dum diddly. Hey dum diddly. Hey dum diddly do, and the first way. Hey dum diddly dum, hey dum diddly dum, hey dum diddly, hey dum diddly, hey dum diddly dum, and the other way. Hey dum diddly do, hey dum diddly do. Hey dum diddly, hey dum diddly, hey dum diddly do. That's great. Straightening the legs. We'll move into a hip opener. All of these movements are suitable from birth, but I would wait with the hip openers until the 10 week doctor check and make sure that everything's okay with the hips before proceeding to hip openers. If everything's okay, then you can get your baby's right foot and bring it to the opposite knee the hip and the older ones will go towards being able to give themselves a little tickle under the armpit. We'll start again on the right hand side and we'll sing Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock and the other side, hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, and the first side again, hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, and the first side, Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And then again, straightening the legs, you can bring the feet back down to the floor. And we'll finish with an arm stretch. If baby doesn't want to do it, mummy can do the same arm stretch. I'll demonstrate it with baby. So bringing your thumb into baby's palm, they have a reflex which means that they will should hopefully grip your thumb and you can use that grip to then take baby's arms into their chest and then take them to the sides the same stretch for mummy would be the same thing arms to the sides so they look like a little ray of sunshine and we'll begin to sing you are my sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. And then mummy can have a big stretch, fingertips towards ceiling, and then come all the way down like rays of sunshine, all the way down, baby. Ooh. And we'll do another round, bringing thumb back into baby's palm, bringing hands to the chest. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Big stretch from mummy, fingertips towards ceiling, both sides of the waistline long, and then coming down, little rays of sunshine. <laughs> Let's do one more round, bringing hands back to the tummy. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. 
Please don't take my sunshine away. Big stretch for mommy and coming all the way down. And a little tickle and a little kiss and a cuddle. We'll finish this sequence with a little twist for baby. I would suggest leaving this out until baby's three months. Or likewise, if baby's not in a great mood, you may want to try it another day. It's a similar twist that mummy might have done in yoga. And for the twist, we just take baby's knees into the chest and then down to one side. You'll use one hand to just gently keep the thighs there and you can use the opposite hand to stroke up baby's body and open through the opposite shoulder. It can be quite a strong twist, so you might just want to save it for days that baby is in a good mood. And when you've, once you've taken it one side, again, you'll do it the other side, knees to chest. And then over to the side, keeping the knees bent, you'll use one hand to keep the thigh down and stroke the other arm up the body and across to open up through the chest. Let's finish the sequence by picking baby up for a cuddle and a kiss. And you can tell them how brilliant they've been at their yoga practice today. <laughs>
This gives you a free arm for making a cup of tea. So we'll sing, Polly put the kettle on, but the yoga version is mummy put the kettle on and then daddy put the kettle on and mummy has a bath. So when you're ready, mummy put the kettle on, mummy put the kettle on, mummy put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Daddy take it off again, daddy take it off again. Daddy, take it off again, they've all gone away. Oh, sorry, mummy has a bath, my mistake. I was too busy watching the little babies. So come back to the centre, come back to the safety hold. If you guys want to stay here with this one, please do. If at home you want to swap to the other side, you'll just swap the banister arm over and you'll come to the right hip and we'll do another round. Mummy put the kettle on, mummy put the kettle on, mummy put the kettle on, we'll all have tea. Daddy take it off again, daddy take it off again, daddy take it off again, mummy has a bath. And we'll finish with a really fun and exciting hold, again only for three month plus babies, holding baby either side of the rib cage. You can lift baby all the way up onto the top of your head. Most babies really enjoy this because it makes them very tall and important, which they all seem to think they are anyway. And we'll just walk into the centre here so that these babies can have a little look at each other. Oops. One of the areas which tends to really suffer postnatally is the uh, shoulders and neck. From all that leaning over, feeding and looking after baby, they can get really tight. So we'll just do a few neck and shoulder stretches. Having baby lying or sitting in front of you, if you need to pick them up at any point, please do. Let's just start with the hands on the shoulders and starting with a few shoulder rolls, taking the elbows forwards, up, back and down. If your baby is older and facing you and really enjoys peekaboo, you can turn this one into a little bit of a game of peekaboo by bringing the elbows together and then peekaboo. Take a few more nice big shoulder rolls. And then keeping the shoulders back, open chest, let's take the arms up shoulder level, soften the shoulders and then cross the right arm over the left as high up as you can, bring the forearms back to centre, let them cross slightly and see if you can bring the palms together, Garudasana. Take a moment to take a big breath into your heart space and as you breathe out, let your shoulder blades come together on the back of the heart. Inhaling into the heart, exhaling shoulder blades together on the back of the heart. And then exhale, releasing the arms, softening the shoulders and taking it the other way, left over right, forearms to centre and then palms together. As you inhale, let the heart become big and bright and as you exhale, let the shoulder blades come together on the back of the heart. Let's release the hands and bring them to the heart. Just so that you all know, that you all know how to be the perfect mummy to these perfect babies in your heart, that that knowledge is always there. And then let's bring the hands in front of the heart and bring the fingertips together a little so it represents a little seed as your baby started out as this tiny little cell. And then we'll bring the hands apart as if opening a book as your baby begins to grow in your tummy. And then the fingertips can point down and then you can stretch the fingertips away from you so you get a nice stretch between the shoulder blades. Take a big breath and as you exhale, bringing the hands back to the heart and letting them bloom into a flower as your baby blooms into a perfect little baby. Let's do that once more, fingertips together. So this is how we start motherhood, knowing not very much. There's times where things come undone, they go upside down, and things can seem very far away from you. So you'll just take a big breath 
and bring it back to the space in the heart, knowing that your heart will bloom like a flower as you learn how to be the mother to your baby. Let's do that twice more and we'll chant on with the exhale. So inhaling the arms open, fingertips down, stretching them away. And then as you exhale, Last time, inhaling it open and down, stretching it away. And exhale. And then offering that lovely flower to your baby, connecting back in. If you feel that your baby needs to pick them up, you can pick them up and do the next exercise with one arm. If they're fine sitting or lying, then you can just bring the arms back up again, bend the elbows slightly so the shoulders soften, and we'll start to make some circles with the wrists, and we'll begin to sing to them. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are and the other way, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are <laughs> and then we'll finish with some little stars like this so grabbing hold of the thumbs letting the fingers go casting a little bit of mummy magic over baby Asking them to be everything that you want them to be. And then we'll finish by just bringing the hands onto the thighs. And we'll just finish with some shoulder roll, uh, neck rolls, my mistake. Just rolling the head side to side. Stretching it out through the back of the leg. And making some lovely big letting go noises. Just a lovely big, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Let's do that a couple more times. Ah, oh. oh. I'm bringing the head all the way back up again. We'll finish with a relaxation, which is one of the most important parts of your practice with your baby. It will teach your baby that after a period of activity, there will be a time to come down and rest. If you can lie down, that's absolutely ideal. But if you can't lie down, you can still do the relaxation sitting or gently walking around. If your baby is older and will be happy with you not looking at them, a really lovely thing to do is to lie with your legs up on a chair and it quite literally takes the weight off of your feet and makes your lower back relax. If you feel that you need to look at your baby, you can lie down like these ladies are. And this is how you teach your baby how to relax. And one of the first ways to teach them that is for them to follow your breath. So if you can slow your breath down, your baby should follow. And a really lovely thing to start doing that is a breath called Brahmari, which is where you make a gentle humming sound on the exhale, so it sounds like a swarm of bumblebees. Most babies really like this, especially if they're fractious. So we'll do a few minutes of Brahmari before moving into a, another meditation. 
So when you're ready, taking an inhale and on your exhale, you'll just make a gentle humming sound like this. do this for a couple of minutes there's no rush with the breath take an inhale pause for a moment and then with the exhale make a gentle humming sound pause again at the end of the exhale and then again another inhale let's do it together mm. Take one more Brahmari breath. Mm. Feeling your breath long and soft, your body relaxed. Knowing that your baby is picking up on these signals. We'll move to a meditation. This is a really lovely meditation to do feeding, but works really well. Um, lying and relaxing with your baby as well. If you need to change position, please do. And we'll just start by becoming aware of our breath. If you can, close your eyes for periods during this meditation. That works really well as well, even if you're just closing them for a few breaths and then opening them. Trying to keep them closed as much as you can. And we'll start the meditation by bringing our awareness to the sense of sound. So you'll start by becoming aware of the sounds further away from you in the room and slowly bring your awareness closer so you become aware of the sounds of your baby. Taking a few breaths with the awareness of sound. If you find as you start this meditation that your baby is becoming more fractious, you can keep the Brahmari breath going throughout this meditation. And moving from the sense of sound to the sense of taste. So becoming aware of any taste in your mouth. Maybe your mouth is dry or wet, bitter or sweet taking a few breaths with the sense of taste. And then moving your awareness to the sense of smell. 
If you have your baby with you and you're relaxing, becoming aware of any lovely smells of your baby. If you're feeding, perhaps you can smell the milk. Taking a few breaths with the sense of smell. And then becoming aware of the sense of touch. So to begin with, becoming aware of your own skin, which parts of your own skin feel hot or cold, dry or wet. And then if you're touching your baby, becoming aware of which parts of your baby feel hot or cold, dry or wet, sense of touch with your baby. And if your eyes are open, please just now close them for just a couple of breaths. So that when you open them, you can focus entirely on your sense of sight and drink in that sight of your baby as if it were the first time that you'd seen them. Marveling at the beauty of your little baby. And let's just stay here for the last few breaths with the sense of sight. Coming back to awareness of your breath. Letting your breath just become a little louder now. So it brings you back to mind the body consciousness. And then please open your mouth nice and wide, stretching through all the muscles of your mouth and take a big, loud, enforced yawn. Ah, let's do that again. Ah. If you want to stay relaxing a bit longer with your baby, please do. And when you're ready, take a nice big stretch as if awaking, refreshed and renewed from a deep sleep. And come up all the way back to sitting. Thank you for watching the class. Namaste.